welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'll have you know that I have two Cap of the Winds, but I still don't have the Twilight Princess pants. What? What? I, I open up Amiibo off screen now because I'm not getting anything good, but now, I have two of these. And I guess I can sell this for a fairly high price. I think I can sell it for like, ooh, whoops, uh, for like what, 100 so rupees? So that's pretty good. That's actually really good. But, uh, come on, I just want the pants. I just want to finish up the sets that I can get. I don't have any more Amiibo. I only have the, the Smash Bros. Amiibos that are Link and Toon Link. I just, I just want the pants. I, I know this is a dumb rant, but I just want the pants. Anyway... Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, I completed the first Divine Beast and got Mipha's Grace. There's something I want to talk about before I actually continue on with this episode and get a few side quests done and stuff like that. Mipha's Grace is not a one-time use. If you look up in the top left, you will see that it has a times one. It's not a one-time use. That's how long, uh, that's how many times you can use it before it has to recharge. So, don't worry. It's not like, uh, it's not like... You're going to use it one time, and it's going to be gone the entire game. That's not how this works, so don't worry about it. Anyway, the, la the person I was looking for in the last episode, which I couldn't find, was actually <laughs> just, a, just a, a little bit away from me, which is kind of, it makes me feel dumb. But anyway, let's just talk to them. Hello. Link, the Divine Beast has been appeased, but I fear there is still something, something that threatens the Domain. There's a red-maned monster called a Lionel that lives on Polymus Mountain. I really need a picture of a Lionel. It can be a picture of any red-maned red -maned Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. So, what do you say? Can you get me a picture of a Lionel? Understood. I'm glad that was settled so quickly. See, there's this fool in the domain who goads people into jumping off, the sh jumping off Shatterback Point on Polymus Mountain. That against the rules? Is it really illegal if the cops don't find out? It's an incredibly dangerous jump, and this guy pressures people into jumping off by questioning their courage. He's a real bottom feeder. If this keeps up, someone is surely going to wind up horribly injured. I need a picture of a Lionel to show everyone how scary they are. That way, maybe people will stop going up there. Does that answer your question, Link? I'll leave the details to you. Just bring me a picture of a Lionel, so I can describe them in terrible detail. Thank you. So, Lionel Safari, I think that's kind of a funny name, first of all. Second of all, that's what we did in, like, episode... Uh, I have my computer right in front of me, and I'm gonna go check. I, I, I think it's, um, episode... 15? Yeah, episode 15. That's what we did in episode 15, sorry. That was really gonna get to me if I didn't go and check. So, in episode 15, we got a picture of a Lionel, so we already have one. I have a picture. Oh, wow, please show me. What? That was that was the worst scream I could ever... Look, um, I, I ain't no voice actor. I cannot do a scream. Um, my apologies. That sound was not very dignified, was it? P pardon me. I'm all better now. That Lionel. How terrifying. One look at this, and I doubt anyone would be get any reckless ideas about visiting Polymus Mountain. Thank you. I'll tell the children of your domain, children of the domain, about this. Maybe that will scare them away from the mountain. Oh right, now for your reward. These are the Zora's Greaves. These Zora Greaves were once made by skilled cra skilled craftsmen in order by order of an ancient Zora king. Now they're fairly common. As you may know, East Reservoir Lake was created in a collaboration between Hylians and the Zora. After the East Reservoir Lake was finished, we made Zora Greaves as a token of our friendship for Hylians who come to visit. But over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwindled, and my father had to close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves were the last pair left in the stockroom when he closed up. Oh, that's kind of sad. Well, we got Zora Greaves. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not like the way these pants look. With the, This armor is just not my cup of tea. Um, I'll wear it because, well, we literally just finished the armor set and that's cool and all. But, like, uh, it's 
it's not something I'm going to be going out of my way to wear. Um, but anyway, if I go over here, there's actually Prince Sidon. He says some pretty interesting stuff. Link, I must thank you. You somehow overcame the objections of the old geezers of our council, all, all to help save our home. Yes, you are a treasure of a Hylian, taking time out of your journey to come to our rain and monster-ridden home. And here you activated those orbs with shock arrows, freed Ruta, and released my sister from her lingering regret. Link, I simply cannot thank you enough, especially for following me to the end, pushy and unreasonable as I am. Zora's domain would still be in peril if not for you. You are welcome any time, and we are ever at your service. Have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? Because you are, and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians, and my most treasured friend of for all of time. So that's just kind of nice. I think that's, um, it's really cool. I also think that's the reason Tumblr has such a field day with... <clears throat> anyway. Anywho, let's drop down here. Oops, sorry about that, Mifa. You don't mind, right? Anyway, this girl has a side quest. What is that guy? I don't know what that guy's side quest is, though. But I know this is a shrine quest, which is something I really need to do. A gift from the sky. A scale of light. Oh, you're the Hylian who helped save Prince Sidon. You're so handsome. Your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course. But you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking, for you, talking with you for a bit. Wanna talk? That song. I just love singing. I even remember the song for the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? I want to hear it. Okay, I'm going to sing now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Splits the feet of the veiled false sight. Your trial awaits, it's glowing bright. I didn't really get what this I don't really get what the song's about, but I'm gonna sing it the next champion festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Did he forget his job? Anyway, so there's a shrine quest, as I already told you. Over here are the Veiled Falls. Glad I did a re-recording of this, because I was, like, so confused as to where the Veiled Falls were. I was, like, looking over here, like, oh, God, where is it? Uh, they're over here. Th these are the Veiled Falls. I'll meet you when I'm there, but... Yeah, you know what? I'll explain it once I get over there. I was about to explain it here, but that's kind of, you know, it's not really a big deal. Anyway, I'll see you when I'm there. Fun fact, now that all the rain is gone, we can finally climb, which makes this area much, and I mean much, more bearable. Let me see, can I... Oof. Pro strats. Yes! I am genus! I've been saying that a lot recently. I have no idea why. Maybe, I don't know. Mm. I have no clue. Anyway, now that we're up here, I'm gonna, first of all, switch back into my glorious outfit. Also, I'm going to... Use the light scale trident, because it said a scale of light. Now, if you go over here, you'll see that there's a little glowing area. First of all, let me get this pin off my map. There we go. You'll see that there's this glowing area. So, my hunch is, I'm going to have to pierce this waterfall somehow. Well, not pierce it. You know, you know what I mean. I'm going to have to use the light scale trident and hit something. And if that glowing thing's an indication... I'm gonna have to go up here, oof, fall down, and then attack. You can pull out your glider as much as you want, or paraglider, sorry, not glide. I mean, it's the same diff, who cares? You can para pull out your paraglider as much as you want, so it's not like uh, you have to fall down and you know do it one try. And with the amount of hearts I have right now, I don't think landing like that would be a good idea in the first place, so... Thank God for that. Now, I believe this is true for most shrine quests. I haven't really, well, done a lot of them, because I don't like doing side quests all that much in this game. While they're nice, I just don't do them all that much. Something that's nice is they're usually blessing shrines. They're not really, you know, puzzle shrines, so that's nice. Yep, it's, uh, it's a blessing. I think this is, like, money, please. A hundred dollars, ah, beautiful. 
I think with that, no, not even close. I was about to say, I think I can go buy the pantalones for the stealth guard. Nope, not even close. Oh, by the way, I'd just like to mention, uh, if someone has been wondering what's behind these, usually nothing. I don't believe there's, or at least in all the shrines I've been to, there's been nothing behind them. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to go check. If you want to, you can. I may start doing that just to make sure, but I don't really think there's anything behind them, so... With that out of the way, I believe that's all I want to take care of in the Zora's Domain. But there is something I'd like to talk about. So, there's DLC that is littered throughout Hyrule Field. Uh, as you can see, I have obtained Majora's Mask and Midna's Helmet. But there are entire sets, and I believe that I'm going to do a video, uh, kind of like a little... I know I said I would treat the DLC as like it's part of the game, but I really don't find wandering around a pretty barren field to be very interesting and I was planning on doing it this episode but honestly I don't necessarily want to deal with it right now um, it's just a kind of annoying and kind of tedious and it's going to be very difficult to edit and edit it in a way that makes it interesting so I think in the next episode I might start off showing exactly where all the DLC armors are or I may just do in like an extra video um, and count it as like a point five of this or something uh, just kind of to show it off, because I'm most likely going to have them by the end of the next episode, or the beginning, I guess. Anyway, sorry about that, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So, next, I'm actually going to be doing a, st a bit of stuff that doesn't have to do with the story. I'm going to be making my way towards the next area that I want to get to, but along the way I do want to show something off. And I have to say, it's pretty awesome. So, I'm kind of where I said I was going to be. I was planning on going to this tower all the way over here in Hyrule Field. And, uh, I don't know. I was planning on exploring and going over here, which I ended up doing off screen. And, uh, I'm here now because I do want to take on a few shrines. This is about... A day, two days later from the uh, beginning recording. And the reason I'm doing this is because, dear lord, was the second half of that video the most unorganized mess I had ever seen. Anyway, uh, I have a shrine which is not done over here. So I'm going to go do that near the end, I believe. And then I'll uh, continue on. I think I'm planning on, I think, next episode going over here. But uh, enough about my plans for next episode. What I'm going to be doing is checking out where I put these pins, seeing the shrines that are no doubt up there. Uh, and yeah, it's just having a, having a bit of fun, doing a bit more exploring. I'm going to remove this pin because I feel like I'm going to be going towards that. And I don't think I have enough stamina to get the two shrines up here yet. But who knows, maybe. Maybe I'll take them on, probably in a separate episode. But uh, let me see, what should I take on first? Over there, that looks like a lot of climbing. And over there, it looks like a lot of climbing as well. A bit less, though, so I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna head on over here. This game is just so beautiful. It really is. And for being a Wii U game... And I know the Wii U can, like, run some pretty amazing... Not... Um, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say amazing. Even though I know the Wii U can do some pretty... Ooh, an Iron Shroom. Sorry. I keep getting distracted. Even though I know the Wii U can run some pretty beautiful games. Like, Mario Kart 8, that's... I love the way that game looks. It's amazing. I just, I didn't expect it to, <laughs> I'm saying it looks beautiful as I come across like this rugged, ugly looking stone texture. Anyway, it just, it has a lot of, I love this game, it has a lot of awesome lighting and dang the Wii's doing a good job. It's, it's not lagging every five seconds, which is great. And I think, now that I've said that, I might as well talk about a bit of the lag problems. I've talked about it before, but I would actually like to talk about the Switch version. Because uh, I have heard that the Switch version has a bit more, well, a bit more severe lag. While certain, uh, you know, towns and stuff like that, 
don't lag. It's honestly, a, I hear a lot worse on the Switch when it does lag because the game literally stops, which is something that's never happened to me on the Wii U version. I cannot even recall a time in which it stopped uh, on the Wii, Wii U version. That could just be me, um, but I don't know. Maybe that means the Switch version is a bit... Hold on, let me put on... Hopefully they didn't see me yet. Because I just don't want to find them right now. Yep, goodbye. So I, I just think... I think the Switch version is a bit worse when it comes to lag. Uh, not necessarily, you know, like... It doesn't lag as much as the Wii U version. Or as frequently. But it definitely seems to have a bit worse lag when it does happen. So, I don't know. I guess that's just kind of interesting. But, I don't know. I've barely touched the Switch version, so... I guess I really shouldn't be saying anything. I've never been here before. This is probably a Korok seed. How did I know? Yeah, sometimes when you have to blow stuff up and there's a rock under it, you're like, Oh, I, I wonder what could be under this. Nice luminous stone. I'm gonna be needing this for later. Things much later on down the line, so I shouldn't even be foreshadowing them, but... Eh. Why not? How much does that make now? With all that luminous stone. Seven. Nice. I'm gonna actually... Hold on. I'll be back. Alright. Ooh, is there a Korok under here? Ah. A man can dream. Oh, it's gonna be a blood moon! Well, hopefully I don't come across any evil doers. I don't think I've killed much this cycle. So, you know. It's honestly not a big deal. Let me see. Um, eh, I'll switch to this. Goodbye, and hello, goodbye. Don't know why I wasn't Z-targeting there. That would have made it a lot easier. And a lot less painful to watch. I believe this is a Korok seed as well. I'm not necessarily sure. Oh, wait, no. I know how this works. So, sometimes Korok seeds can be kind of weird. I don't know if I've showed off any of these yet. I think I have, like, once, maybe? Um, but anyway, you have to make these trees look exactly the same. Which is why I'm going to be taking that apple. Oh, and there. Done. That's pretty easy. So, if you come across some trees that look a bit odd, uh, maybe a bit similar, then, you know, try it out. Just mess with stuff. That's pretty much the name of this game. Just screw with stuff and see what happens. I saw something shiny down there, and I'm so tempted to get it. Ugh. But I can't. My stamina. I actually think I'm going to show this off now. If you... Aren't opposed to having a weird claw grip on your controller. You can actually run infinitely. You hold down the whistle button, and then you just spam the B button, and you don't. You don't. Oh my God! I was gonna say do not, and then I was like, maybe don't would sound better. You do not use any stamina when you do that, but you run at the exact same speed you would if you were normally running. So you can run infinitely. So that's kind of cool. Just a nice little exploit. To skip this, you can press X and then press, uh, press skip, plus to skip. I was very confused. I don't know why they just don't make it plus, but I don't know. I guess just in case you accidentally press plus, but eh. I actually think there's something kind of cool over here, if I remember correctly. Maybe up on top of this, I think. I don't know if there's a Korok. There probably is. No, it's not up here. I must be thinking of a different... Oh, there... Well, there's a Korok up here. But this was not what I thought it was. So... Hello? Could you stop running around? I just want to, um... Touch you? Touch you a little bit? That's kind of weird. Just a little bit? Just, just, just a slice of it? Come on, man! Just come back! I just want to—I just want to touch you. You know, it's not—it's not weird. 
Let me see. How can I sneakily take care of these people? Oh, I don't really think I can. Uh, well, I guess I could. I think I might as well show off the amazing Stasis Plus right about now. If I can freeze him. Please don't spot me. Did you? Hopefully not. Oh my god. Crap. Yeah, I was hoping that wouldn't, you know... I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but... Apparently, if you attack Keese... I was hoping, like, they didn't like Keese or something. And they were like, ah, that guy kind of sucks. He just, I'm actually glad he's dead. I was hoping that would happen. Sadly, not what happened. Someone blew themselves up. How that happened, I can't tell you, but... Let's see. Oh, you were still holding it. Ooh, that hurt just a little bit. How about you back off? That'd be really nice. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, that's something which is kind of annoying. Sometimes enemies just... They, they don't... Flinch at all. I was fighting with a quarter of a heart. What am I, a madman? Dang. Ooh, that's... That's a lot. I'm gonna save that for later. Uh, I'll, I'll eat that. Alright. Yeah, sometimes, anyway, sorry, sometimes enemies don't recoil when you attack them, which is kind of annoying because you really have no idea of, you know, knowing when exactly they are going to recoil and, and stuff like that. It's kind of annoying. Um, it's not something that necessarily hinders me, but it's, it's dumb. So I guess that's just another reason to, you know, be kind of careful when you fight, which is something I didn't do at all when I came in here. How did you not- wait, 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 wait. I would like to question <laughs> how you didn't know that I was evil when I was killing all of your friends literally five seconds ago. Wait! Riddle me this. What's wrong with you? Don't know why that Joker reference happened, but no. No, that's not the- j Oh my god. I wanna die. Are you- oh. 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 I- I- I'm- I'm literally the most retarded person on the planet. I'm not a huge Batman fan, so I didn't- I completely forgot that that was the Riddler. And I said, riddle me this, and I was like, I don't know why that Joker reference came to mind. I am so dumb. Oh my god, I actually fought all those guys for a seven- I just realized I fought all of those guys for a spear that did seven damage. What? Alright. I still can't get over that. <laughs> nice, uh, nice, nice Joker reference. I'm such a Batman fan. I'm feeling a Korok nearby. I can feel it in my bones. Or bird eggs. I'll take those two. They're they're kind of like Koroks, right? Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Oh, I would like to mention, uh, I've been neglecting a lot of weapons recently. Uh, I recently got this Dragon Bone Boko Bat which does 36 damage, which is awesome, and this spiked mo uh, moblin club, and it's just a lot of really good stuff. I also got a new shield, which is 25, so it's better than what I'm wearing right now. Kinda looks ugly as crap, though, so I'm gonna switch back to this one. I'll switch to that one when this breaks, but until then. Muo Jim Shrine. I, these names are kinda weird. You know what I just realized? Modest is strength, okay. Nothing too interesting, so I can continue my spiel. Or I guess my realization of me being an idiot. 
I just realized that I didn't show off the cool thing that I was planning on showing off. It's been a while, so you uh, you have to understand. I wasn't really... <laughs> I don't remember what I talked about last time. So that's upgraded. I need to upgrade some more of this crap. It shouldn't be that hard to do. Come here. Fight me. That was... I forgot they did the little spin thing. So that was a just a, just a little bit too early. Let's see, do I have any... Oh, I used my last... Okay, well that's... That's dumb. I used my last guardian sword. Ooh, well, I'm hiding behind here. Goodbye. I don't know why I did a jump attack. Jump attacks aren't that good in this game. I don't... I Okay, calm down. I wouldn't really recommend them. Okay, well that guy just... Great. Modest test of strength. My face. Hopefully I can get... Here. Ugh, I keep doing it too early. I don't fight these guys enough. I don't know their their pattern. Like, it's funny, because I can easily avoid guardians, right? Because recently I've been doing a bit of guardian hunting on my... Okay. Don't know how that worked, but alright. Recently I've been doing a bit of guardian hunting on my um, normal save file. And, uh... Take that. Alright, great. Oof. Anyway, sorry. Recently I've been doing a bit of... Um... Guardian hunting on my normal save file, on my original, so I could purchase some clothes, which I'll get into at a different, at a different point in time, hopefully soon. But anyway, the point is, I can easily defeat guardians now. Guardians are not even close to being the scariest thing to that I. Wow. Okay, the scariest thing that I face now. And I just, you know, I, I think it's kind of funny. That, I, that these guys are proving to be such a pain, but normal guardians are literally nothing to me. They mean nothing. Oh god, he's doing this attack. Well, time to spam. Two more hits should be good. Yep. Great. 45, that's awesome. That's actually really good, and a guardian shield. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's time. Goodbye, reinforced Lizolfo shield. I'll send you off in the best way I know how. Come on, I, I'm trying to send you off in a- Come on, just break. Thank you. Goodbye. I, you will be missed. <sighs> anyway. Just, uh, these are kind of boring. <laughs> I completely forgot it was one of these. Because I haven't done this shrine in a long time, so. Ugh. This was kind of pointless, but. A knight's bow, nice. 26. I think I have plenty of those, but I can check. Well, this can hop on out of my inventory. I don't need that. Uh, I did a bit of shrine hunting off screen. Uh, as you could probably see, uh, I'll show it on the map again, exactly which shrines I got, but I do have enough spirit orbs, so next time I'm in a town, I will upgrade mine body and my soul. I guess hearts would be body and stamina would be endurance? Endurance is close enough to soul, right? Alright. So, now that I'm out of there, I'll actually show off the thing that I uh, was planning on showing off in, I guess, not the last episode, in, in the earlier part of this epi episode, in 17.0. Welcome to 17.5. So, um, I have one last amiibo, which, well, all amiibo are compatible with this game, but this is the last amiibo I have that has something really awesome and gives you something pretty cool. This is the Wolflink Amiibo, the most useless Amiibo in the entire history of Breath of the Wild. This guy sucks. He is very inconvenient. Uh, he does not help me at all, because I usually like to take a sneakier... Uh, I, li I like to be a bit sneakier when I kill enemies, so I don't just charge into them and waste a bunch of my weapons and stuff like that. This guy, he doesn't know my tactics. He just runs straight in. <sighs> 
So he kind of sucks. He's not that useful. Uh, he's, he's just kind of a nice companion, I guess. He's cool now. I think there's a way to get more hearts on your wolf, Link, but I don't care enough. Anyway, I showed him off. He's kind of cool. Goodbye. One of these days, I'll give you better coverage, but I can't deal with you right now. Oh, I actually do like the um the way it looks on the map. That's pretty cool. Baby! Hopefully, I'll have enough stamina. Good. I don't want to see him anyway. Oh, yeah, we definitely have enough stamina. I think this will be helpful for help 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 for what this will be helpful for later because I will want to go check out that island at some point I'm not gonna mark it because it's pretty obvious where it is to be honest but um also I see that chest I just really don't want to go for it because I know there's an Octorok out there that's just waiting to pop up and give me a hard time but I still want what's inside that treasure chest right now I know you're here Octorok where are you Wow, that was kind of weird. I kind of want to try that again. Because all the water just completely disappeared once I went under that. I wonder if there's like a glitch like in Mario Sunshine where you... Oh, that's nice. I'll actually take that. That's good. I'm glad I did this. Uh, there's this glitch in Mario Sunshine where you can walk under the water. I wonder if there's something like this or like that in this game. Oh, here's a Korok. Great, time to waste some freaking Oh wait a second. Oh, I'll I'll do this later. I'll do this later. I know exactly there's gonna be something that makes this a lot easier, so I'll do this later. Goodbye. So my uh PC is storage was um was full. I realized this after <laughs> after my triumphant victory with this freak of nature after losing 90% of my weapon no not even 90% 100% of my weapons <laughs> so now I have to do it all over how does that sound fun Ooh, you, you just can hear me dying inside for the rest of this episode how does that sound is that fun oh really fun for me Let's try to get that Fury Rush next time. Totally gonna happen. Let me see. Alright. Well. I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was very tempted. I was extremely tempted to just say, you know what? I don't even care anymore. Wow, alright. I I was about to say, I don't even care anymore. I'm just not gonna even worry about this. I'm just gonna say, you know what? Why, why would they want to see me fighting a guardian that uh, made me rage? <laughs> Ooh, but then I realized, why would they not want me to? So, um, here I- Baby! Just dying on the inside. Uh, I hope you're happy. I hope you enjoy this episode, because if you don't, I swear I will find you. And I will kill you. Because this has been the most stressful 20 minutes of my life. Fighting this guy. I don't usually have problems with, with any of this, with any of this, but, um, you know, just, I, I, uh, alright, I can't backflip fa fast enough, that's kinda, mm, that's kinda something, okay, alright, that's fair, I, so I jumped, but alright, I will allow you to hit me one more time, how does that sound? Wanna try it again? No, you wanna do this again? Alright, well, I guess it's an easy hit, so... Alright, I really shouldn't be saying that, because I've been messing up on it a lot recently, so... I guess I really an easy hit, but... Why did I back... What am I... A... Retar? Okay, come here. 
come and catch this silver long sword, which is about to break. That's what I thought. All right, all right. I see how it is. Than I had hoped, but um, you know. I'll let it happen if I can just kill this guy real quick. Thank you very much. I would like an easy GG easy. Okay, well, let's try again. Let's try again. Just one more time. GG. You only have what a thousand. Okay, I was hoping. I was hoping it'd be a little bit less than that. But all right, I did not mean to do a backflip there. I meant to uh, do a little bit of a, a little hop, a little skip and a hop out of the way. I was hoping I could get a fury rush while I was there as well. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. I will take all the damage that I am able to get on this guy. What was this? A, mod a modest test of strength, maybe? All I know is uh, this This feels like, okay, this feels like a major test of strength for me right now. Uh, also a major test of patience, <laughs> because, oof. Let's see, is he still doing it? Can I still? There. Oh, he only has 650 HP left. Poor guy. If only you died in fire. How does that sound, huh? Come here, come here, come here, little, come here, man. Friends forever, am I right? All right. So this attack, you can easily just hop out of the side. But if I want to get a quick kill on this guy, I better get his timing down right now. Or not, or I could just not get his timing down, and I believe that's a guaranteed hit, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's a guaranteed hit for him, so he can take me out easily. I keep doing that on accident. I don't mean to switch over to the left, so this should be... It's fine, I can get I can get the timing down. Oh my god, again! <sighs> this is gonna suck. Uh, hello? It's not... Letting me move past... Okay. For some reason, I was having a bit of a... Mishap there. I don't know what happened, but... Alright, let me see if this makes it easier. Ah! Oh! oh! Thank God. Guardian Spear, plus plus, that's 20. It's probably gonna be, f what, 40? Oh, Guardian Sword. You know what? Maybe this was worth it. And what's the Guardian Axe gonna be? I was a bit... 60? No wonder I was having a tough time. This gave me some... freaking killer crap. Dang. That's actually pretty... I'm, I'm, I'm still down four freaking items. But that's not bad. And that's not bad at all. I might save these for a bit. Um... I couldn't say anything there because I was. Maybe maybe I can catch it. I don't know. I have a bit of the footage still left, but this was all worth it. <laughs> I would like to thank the academy that I have beaten this guy and I'm able to get the freaking climbing gear. I didn't know about this. I forgot that this was here. So yeah, that makes our climbing speed go up as well. Pretty awesome. Wait, hold on. I want to. I think. I, th I think. I just saw ancient technology. The ancient technology in this gear will make you a better climber. The special no slip gloves will help you use your energy more efficiently to facilitate nimble climbing. Huh. That's cool. I never read that bio. Apparently, it's ancient technology. For some reason. Uh huh. It's not like it's just a freaking bandana and some skimpy clothes. I don't know. It's not. It's ancient technology. Well, with that, I think I'm going to end off this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That was... Look, I'm not going to lie. That was really hard, but that was... Oh, so fun and oh, so... Oh, mwah, satisfying to just kill that guy. I know that sounds bad, but oh, it feels it feels so good. Can I cut this down? Hey, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I, I will thankfully take what I am given. I'm so happy I have this tree branch right now. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> this was fun. That's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.